We're here to celebrate today, I think, right? Celebrate love, family, friendship. Hopefully celebrate my debut as the world's greatest wedding officiant. <laughs> pretty, pretty confident on that. I think we're mostly here to celebrate commitment, though. And that commitment just so happens to be between two of the most amazing people <laughs> that I've ever met in my life. Um, so I'm feeling very fortunate today because I've been given the privilege to officiate and share in the beginning of their new journey together with all of their friends and family. For those of you who don't know me yet, my name's Ollie. Martin and I have been friends for the best part of seven years. I was there on the day Martin first laid eyes on Sarah and I'm honored to be here five years later on their wedding day. Sarah and Martin have a deep and instinctive love for each other. I think I can say for everyone that you look stunning. I know that Martin first fell in love with your gutsiness and your spirit and then succumbed to your beauty. You make Martin extremely happy. You have a voile de joy that warms the hearts of everyone who knows you and you have won the heart of the best man I know. I don't know what you were worried about, <laughs> Jesus. My God. Yes, I love you. <laughs> you look stunning. When Sarah first told me about the new guy she was dating about five years ago, <laughs> I was admittedly skeptical, okay, in the way that anyone uh, would be after they heard their best friend had just fallen hard for a stranger. Uh, however, I can stand here in front of you today and say with zero doubt in my heart that I cannot imagine a better person for Sarah to share her life with. going around that Sarah and Martin have written dedications to one another that they wish to share with us all today. So at this point I will begrudgingly turn the spotlight over to them and uh, we're going to start with Mr. Martin Elmer. Sarah, before I met you I had preconceived notions of what a partner could be, of what finding love could mean for me. I never could have nor would have imagined it would mean having a best friend. I never thought it could mean excitedly hoping to get off work early just to be home and be beside you. My dear Martensio, <laughs> the last five years have been filled with so much love and growth. I admit to having been slightly confused by you in the beginning. <laughs> Here is this gorgeous man, honest and pure, no games, no agenda. But the word love was hard fought. <laughs> A wise man named Ollie once told me that you choose carefully who you love because once you are in, you are all in. And I feel so fortunate and so special to have been chosen to be the recipient of the love of Martin Melnick. That you've given yourselves to each other in front of all of your friends and family who are assembled here today. It is with great joy and love that with the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife, and you can seal the deal with a kiss. Woo!